Hawaii, the ultimate surfing paradise. This archipelago, synonymous with pristine white beaches, is now joined by a new island. Gigantic, floating and 30 meters deep, it's an island of waste. And the ones to suffer most are the inhabitants of the Pacific, its cliffs and coastline. Tons and tons of plastic byproducts, some of which have landed here in the main hall of the Museum for Gestaltung Zurich, the Museum of Design in Zurich, at the behest of its director, Christian Brentley. Every 15 seconds, a volume of garbage like this, as much as three tons, ends up in the sea. An enormous amount. It lands in the ocean, floats for years, and then breaks down into smaller pieces. In the end, we find these microparticles of plastic are eaten by fish. The food chain is contaminated, with dramatic consequences for our health. In just 100 days, each of us throws away this amount of plastic. Cheap packaging, easy to produce. Every day we coexist with these oil derivatives. Of course, much is recycled, yet despite this, every year 6.4 million tonnes of plastic ends up drifting in the ocean around the world. As a design museum, we're obviously interested in these objects. However, for once, we're not exhibiting very inspired, beautiful designer objects, but instead we're showing their legacy, which is also the legacy of our consumer society. Archaeology of the future. Today, there's not a single square kilometre of sea that has not been polluted by plastic objects. Objects that are not biodegradable, but are sometimes transformed plastic objects which we continue to produce even when we know that alternatives certainly exist. The risk we take is in a future where the only fish we find in the water are ones like these.